what's up YouTube welcome back to the channel again guys uh, this is the red and black collection thank you for tuning in again guys so today uh, I've got some uh, fun stuff in store uh, we are going to hang out with the guys from trucks and coffee do me a favor real, real quick guys if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button now hit the like button share the video comment below let me know what you think and like the video if you like what you see so I've got the uh, the C10 all cleaned up, ready to go, and uh, we'll be hitting the road here in a minute so that we can uh, head on over to uh, Bear Creek Park, which is where this event is held. It's an event held by uh, the group called Trucks and Coffee. They hold the event once a month. It's every uh, last Sunday of each month at uh at Bear Creek Park off of Clay Road and uh, Highway 6 in, uh, in the Houston area. So um, this, this event typically brings out classic uh, Chevrolet and Ford pickup trucks, but occasionally you'll get a Dodge here or there, and occasionally you'll get a couple classic cars. But primarily, this is a show that's all about the classic trucks. C10s to be exact, to be quite honest with you. But <clears throat> every now and then, we'll allow a couple Ford guys to sneak in there or a couple Dodge guys. So... Uh, I'm going to go out there, get some video, hang out with, with the crew from Trucks and Coffee. Uh, they got a raffle. They've got a, a costume contest for the kiddos because uh, this is a big Halloween event for them. So um, come along with me, guys. I'll get some footage and uh, take you with me, okay? See you soon. All right, guys, so I'm here at Trucks and Coffee. Uh, I gotta say, they did not disappoint. There, there has to be at least, what, 200 trucks here? 150, 200, somewhere in there. Okay, good, 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 awesome. There's a little bit of everything out here. There's Chevy, Ford, Dodge. I'm here with the founders of Trucks and Coffee, my man Fernando, my man Berto. You guys say a couple things about your event. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's an all classic truck meet. We have once a month, Houston, Texas. Uh, 47 to pre 98 trucks I mean if you have one come out uh, they don't have to be fully restored if you're working on it you need ideas this was put together so that people could have somewhere to meet meet other guys that are working on trucks so that they can build their trucks um, you know when we, we started this three three and a half years ago I didn't know nothing about trucks and so you know Berto and I worked together and he helped me with a lot of it and you know again this is this is what it's about so you're trying to build something, you're looking for something, even you're trying to sell something, bring it out, let people look at it. That's what our meet's about, it's completely free. You know, we don't charge, uh, there's no admission, and it'll always be like that because it's about the trucks. It's not about us, you know, it's about the trucks and the people and bringing good people together and, and making a great time for people. Very family friendly event, absolutely. absolutely. We always have a great time out here, man. A lot of people come out every day, every time, every last Sunday of the month that we're out here, people show up, it gets bigger and bigger every month. Yeah. You know, sometimes it might fluctuate a little down, but it's always a good time out here, man. That's what we really strive. Have a good time with the kids, good time with the family. You know what I'm saying? If you if you look out there, there's 
lots of people walking around enjoying you know networking is a big thing here you know what I'm saying people people meet each other you know talk about interiors talk about paint talk about wheels talk about detailing everything man it's all involved here everything's cool absolutely you know, everybody's family friendly everybody's yeah. the environment here is awesome you know what I'm saying so a lot of people here are here to have just a really good time for the four hours that we're here from 8 in the morning till noon absolutely yeah. it's always a good time so tell me about today's event what's special about today's event well, well today's event we try to theme our, our our every meet so today's event is about the kids you know it's halloween uh so so we do just a costume contest for the kids uh you know it's it's by applause you know we let the kids come out you know we, and whoever wins gets a nice little trophy they'll, they'll go home with the we have custom trophies made for them gotcha. we'll give them a trophy and it's just really to kind of engage you know the parents so that their parents can come out and mom and dad can look at a truck and enjoy but the kids can also have something right so every every meet we try to theme them uh, you know, and, and, and it really works out. I think that's what keeps our family friendliness going every month. Awesome. So, so Nando, tell me about your merch. Man, so, I mean, currently we got different hats, uh, different styles. We got uh, fitted, snapbacks. We got uh, ladies line now. We got V-necks for ladies, all different colors and, and, and guys, shirts from small all the way to 3X. We got hoodies available now. Okay. And so all nice. this is seasonal and then obviously our stickers. Nice, nice. Uh, and again, you know, I mean, we always, another thing we always have is we always have free coffee, free donuts, free kolaches. The food is always free. We continue doing that. Why? Because that's what it's about. You know, right. It's about bringing everybody together. And, and But yes, we do got merch. We use, you know, our merch to just basically continue building the brand. Yeah. Coffee, donuts, kolaches, all free. We love donations. That's the way that we keep this thing going. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Donations is the Absolutely. only way we keep it going. And we appreciate everybody's support. I got my fair share of, of hats for sure. Oh yeah, for I think sure. I got like five yeah, or six it's, hats. It's a good time out here, man. Good time. <laughs> these are these are full fitted. Good time. All these up front. Oh man. And then these are snap, these are snap back right here. All right, guys, you heard it here. Trucks and coffee. Last Sunday of every month. Bear Creek Park. Bear Creek Park. What pavilion is this? Uh, it's behind Pavilion 4. Behind Pavilion 4. Okay, guys. That's in Houston, Texas, by the way, for those of you who are outside the city. Uh, but, guys, come on out if you can. If you're in the area, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Lots and lots of trucks to see. Lots of cool stuff out here. Good looking truck, man. OBS. What you got back there, man? What's that? A, is that a 20, 24 by uh, 12? No, it's 26 by 10. 26 by 10, okay. Okay, nice, man. You, what'd, you do, what'd you do to your suspension? Uh, the suspension is in the back of the roof. In the back? In the back. Uh, it's uh, well, it's got a uh, C-notch. C-notch, okay. And I have, I have, uh, I have a, a QA1 adjustable shock. QA1 adjustable shocks? Yeah, and I did the, I did the disc conversion. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. So it's a 26 by what again? By 10. 10, okay. Yeah, seven, yeah. Seven, and I see you got the you got the reverse reverse hoop. Yeah. Is that, what seven, is that like? Seven inch lip. Seven inch lip with reverse hoop. Okay, I like it. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Did you? So you didn't have to shorten your rear end. Yeah. I you did. did. Yeah. You did. How much did you shorten it? Uh, I know it stuck out about an inch and a quarter. Okay. So I don't know how much he gave it. Plus another inch from the lip right here. Right. Because I didn't shave this. Right. So it's Who did all the work? I actually took it to a guy named uh, Jose, the billet shop. Oh, oh and, uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, yeah. In Arlington. In Arlington, yeah, yeah, okay. That's the guy that does like all the Impalas and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they do some good work. I've yeah, seen them putting out some. He did, he did the work, man. Yeah, hell yeah, man. W was it a long process? Did it take you like a while to have it done? Uh, almost like three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Oh, okay. And wh what year is your OBS? 95. 95, man. 95. I got a YouTube channel. It's called the Red and Black Collection. Okay. So I, I, uh, I post all kinds of stuff. It's all car, car content, car and truck content. Um, so with your truck being red, it's perfect for my channel. <laughs>
truck is beautiful. Oh, Ford. I tell you, man. I love a C10 just as much as the next person, but nothing like these old Fords, man. It's just, they're just unique, you know? Because you see so many C10s, it's just nice to be able to see something just a little bit different than what you normally see. Look at that bed. Nice one there. about 200 already 200 trucks and I mean they are still coming they're still coming this thing here is nice as well oh my goodness look at that toolbox have paint will travel I like it I assume he's a painter this is cool it's a nice concept Side to side. Nice interior too. Custom tumbler to match the truck. I recognize those seats. Those are TMI, TMI seats. Excuse me guys, sorry. Oh, this is clean. This is clean. Nice clean swap. Nicely done engine bay. 6 0 swap. Paint. Very nice. Very nice. Is this your truck, man? Yeah. Beautiful, man. Thank you. What's your wheel setup on here? Uh, 20 by 12 and 20 by 9. So 20, 20 by 9, 20 by 12. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. It's gorgeous. Is that a 6-0 swap in there? That's 5-3. Three. 5-3? Five, three? Okay. Yeah. yeah. She's clean, man. Who did all the work on it? Me. Really? Yeah. You have a shop? No. Just, yeah, just a two-car garage. Just a two-car garage. I love, I mean, I, I love the garage bills, man. Those are my favorite, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, so I mean. I sent it off to the paint body, and that was it. Who did the paint body on it? A uh, guy out of uh, Tomball, just a little small shop. Okay. Yeah. He got it straight. He got it straight. <clears throat> did it Did it need a lot, of, a lot of work when you got it? Yeah. Like the whole front end is brand new. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't even didn't even have that front end on there. Wow. And this this is what year? It's a seventy one. Seventy one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, did you shave your lights? Was it? it doesn't the no, stuff the seventy one? Sixty seven. Sixty seven. No side marks. So, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So okay. I gotcha. Okay. This is what it looks like. Get a good shot of that. Wow. Look at that. These handles, because these these don't look they, they don't look original. Uh, those are actually repop door handles that I scuffed up with a Scotch Brite pad. That is cool, man. I like that. I did it to the mirror too. I like that, man. I like that. Kind of gives like that brushed kind of yeah. kind of look. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, there's there's a place here in Houston that um, they do that. Like you would. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like this. This is. It's a, I like how it all kind of ties together with the handles and the mirrors and then the wheels. That's a nice, nice combination. So 20, 20 by 12 and 20 by nine. Yeah. Um, any Anything special done to the rear end to get that wheel in there? Yeah, it's been narrowed seven inches. Seven inches, okay. Yeah. You, did you do a four link or anything like that back there? or? It's all tubular. All tubular, yeah. okay. Yeah, cool overs all the way around. Gotcha, you did, you did it all yourself? Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, I had a 350 in it when I got it. Right. I mean, literally everything from the firewall forward is all brand new. Man. Congrats, man. She, you, you got a gorgeous truck, man. This looks very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I, I like seeing fresh fresh bolts. Yeah. <laughs> Those are always nice to There's see. There's nothing original. Yeah. But it's only been done for four or five months. Oh, really? Okay, so, so it's recently finished. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I see you got your uh, Lone Star Throwdown uh, yeah, that, ticket. I, I took ticket. it there, and it had a, just a small block in it. Okay. It looked just like it on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was there as well, and uh, I, I, I gotta say, I'm, I, I wasn't real happy with the new stickers. Oh yeah, I was disappointed. Yeah, I was disappointed. I, I mean, cause I've got like this whole line of stickers 
on my truck like four four stickers in a row and then they're all nice and pretty yeah. and then you got this one little red thing it's like it's a number yeah it's a number right yeah i mean it's like okay i, I get it they, they cut costs i understand right. Right. um it happens sometimes but geez i wish they'd cut costs in other places yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's got a little stage two camera nice nice any spring work changes yeah. what you do what you do with the springs did you do like beehives or ls6 or the beehive. beehive okay yeah yeah awesome man yeah right. she's gorgeous she's gorgeous she looks like she'll take off too man it's I, 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 with, with the stands i love the stands so it looks like it looks she looks mean like she'll like she'll take off any at any moment yeah <laughs> oh man yeah that's what he told me Look at that. Speaking of LSA, supercharged. Yeah, that's that's the exact setup I'm gonna have Is my money Carlo. Yeah, yep. That shit's gonna be scary. Carlos. Yeah, yeah. Carlos, that shit's gonna be scary, bro. Supercharged LSA. Uh, late model restoration did, did the build on the engine on the motor on the motor yeah. yeah what what they do to it anything special in particular uh well it's like some reaper package okay so, uh, so I'm, I'm assuming cam yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like 8 work 30 horsepower what is it 830 8 at the 30. crank Holy and 720 shit. at the rear wheel okay it was originally in a zl1 camaro right right exactly uh, yeah yeah that they pulled it out up to put a twin turbo LSX, and I bought it off my buddy. Ah, nice. So. It's always nice to have friends yeah, with, with yeah. those kind of hand, hand me downs, right? For sure, man. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually doing. Uh, I'm doing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually doing a similar setup in a in an '87 SS Monte Carlo. Okay. That I'll, I'll be doing a. It, the whole car is actually themed. It's a. It's the theme is a Z01 Monte Carlo. So it's so it's got it's got the ZL, It's got a custom Z01 hood on it. I, I got custom custom wing and some other design pieces that are going to be custom as well. And uh, it'll have badging like the ZL1 Camaro, everything. Nice. Yeah, man. yeah. So um, I got interior I got, guy. 
I, I have not chosen an interior guy yet. I know you, I think. We've talked over time. Yeah. So, wait a minute. What's... Does that powder coating, does that help with cooling? No. No? Just looks just, good. Just more aesthetics. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you said Wagner. Wag Wag Wagner Motorsports. Wagner Motorsports is the pulley system, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then they get the valve covers as well. Right. I love those valve covers, man. Thanks, man. They, they're uh, they're top notch. Those, those guys build some badass motors. They do a lot of stuff for Harley. Yeah. They do a lot of stuff for Chevy Performance. Uh huh. Uh, I've been pleased. Was this custom made? Oh yeah. That's custom made. That's custom made. That's custom made. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Who did that? Uh, driven Speed Shop out of Mesa, Arizona. Gilbert, Arizona. You sent them dimensions and measurements and they, they no, made it? No, this truck came from there. Oh, the truck came from there. Okay, got it. Wow. <clears throat> Very well done. Have you, have you shown it? No. You have you no. just You just finished it or? I just finished it uh, a month ago. A month ago, okay. So no. what, what, are your, what are your plans as far as showing it? Are you SEMA, uh, no, Autorama? I, I built it to drive it. I'm hey, driving the piss out of it. There you go. There you go. So I've, I've put about 2,000 miles on it in the past month. Where'd you take it? Just driving all just drive, over Okay, Houston. just drive over Houston. Yeah, yeah, just do my... Any plans to do like cruising the coast or anything like that? I mean, I could. I haven't yet. I haven't made any plans, but that'd be fun to do. It would be fun, man. It would be fun. <clears throat> I like these mirrors, too. T tell me about the mirrors. I, I, I feel like there's a story here. What, so Those are Ring Brothers. Ring Brother mirrors, okay. okay ring obviously. Brother mirrors. Here, here, here. Okay, so, oh, so the door handles. Ring, ring Brother, oh, hinges, yeah. mirrors, hood hinges. Inside all ring door bro. handles. Inside door handles, okay. And then Sublime on the interior. Yes, sir. I love it, man. Sublime did the seats, and then all the center console and the the floor. Uh, that was done by Unique Auto Upholstery out of uh, Gilbert, Arizona. Okay. Um, we had to change it because we went to a T56. Tremic. Tremic T56. Oh, T56 Tremic, okay. From Bowler. From Bowler, okay. So that's a six speed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> um, radiator. Is that a is that a champion? Would uh, no, that's a. Uh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I know champions real popular. Yeah, it's oh. not a champion. Um, uh, I don't know. The guys are really good. Yeah. I don't so sounds like you've you've had a couple couple places touch this truck throughout its yeah. process right yeah um but but what would you who, who would you say did the predominant the most of the work on the truck uh recently yeah driven speed shop driven speed shop okay yeah. and that, and that's where gilbert arizona, gilbert arizona okay gilbert arizona. Wow. yes sir beautiful truck man beautiful Thanks, truck bud. i appreciate it you, you take care man you too bud Hey, hey! This this gotta be this gotta be one of the biggest, if not the, not the biggest. It's been out there, man. It's uh, shit, yeah. It's all. I, I don't think there. I don't think I've ever uh, I don't think I've ever been, seen it that far been, down. It's been a little bit, and it's been all the way around this way too. Okay. But usually it didn't go that way. It went that way. It went that way. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because I, I, I don't think I don't think I've ever walked that far down and seen. Maybe not that far down. You man, might be wrong. Bro, look, there's trucks still all the way down there, yeah, like all, all the way. way down. And those are Fords. It's so, like a, so I have a hundred spots to where this white Denali is. Right. So past this is additional over a hundred. So, so there's a whole line of Fords down there. Did you see those? They're the Foringa guys. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Guys. Yeah. They have a little crew of Foringa guys. They they always come out and support us. But if you don't get here early, yeah, you gotta get in where you fit in. You gotta in, get you know in where you fit in. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. oh. Yeah. This old, this old, I don't know the ugly black truck this is, man. They need to just throw in the towel, man. He just get out the game, man. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. This, this is my first time getting out, man. I, I, ain't, I ain't done nothing since probably February. Yeah, I ain't done nothing since February, man. I've been trying to stay out the way, man. I ain't trying to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly.
what you shooting with, man? We're shooting with a 90D Canon. Okay. You can, you can check us out. Is that 4K? That's yeah, 4K. Oh, yeah. Speedy can like Oh, full, shit, okay. We do full custom materials. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what seems to be show. Yeah, you. exactly, yeah. Did his own bed for oh, wood. Shit. Yeah, that's wood bed. Get on the back on the other end. I, I got all this down here. I'm gonna go back on the other end and catch, catch what yeah, I missed. Know, we, we don't ever walk it, man. Man, I'm telling you, man, it's a lot of car, it's a lot of more trucks down there. And it's like solid. It's like a solid row of them down there. This, this big old big, big this your truck. Can I hear it? <laughs> 540. Yeah. Shaper off. <laughs> hey, that boy got a wheelie in the a wheelie in the back. Yeah, man, big 540. Shafra, don't start it up for us. <laughs> About to hear this bad boy. Cover your ears, kids. Gorgeous, man. Best part, I'm original owner. Yeah, I know that. I've, I've met you a couple times. I, I was going to ask you though about the two batteries in the back. Is that what? Do both run separate things or? No, it's just electric fans, electric fuel pump. I just ran it. Okay, so you run a lot of amps, solutions. so you need the need the extra. I need the extra power. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well done, man. Well Instead done. Instead of putting, you know, like most people put one on each side of the front. Right. Then, I wanted to wait over the rear end. That makes sense. For traction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely, man. So, Absolutely. Like the fuel cell there and the T battery it helps, but what's what's what she do? Spin. What's she do down the track on eleven ninety five? Oh wow, that's impressive. One hundred eighteen. One hundred eighteen at eleven ninety five. Okay. Yeah. This weighs forty three hundred pounds without me in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boat. And you did all the work yourself, right? No, nah, I helped. Yeah. Uh, okay. I got a buddy of mine. We grew up together since elementary school. Right. Right. And uh, so, yeah, she's gorgeous, man. Well I just done. Put this in like two months ago. I, I was thinking that that was different because yeah. I, I, I've, I've looked in this I took truck the before. I off like 20 years ago. I had a B and M. Right. And I was surfing the internet one day and I said, man, I saw this. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. So, so what? Well, so what year is this truck? 
77. 77, okay. Yeah. So, and you're, November 76. Oh, wow. 77, so, so just so the, Yeah, okay. Gotcha, and gotcha. The dealership had it three days when I bought it. What? Yeah. Right. I, I like the fuzzy dice. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> can't go can't go without the fuzzy dice. That's a man that's a mandatory. I have a ninety six impala. It's my daily. So okay so the, the, the BM I took out of here, I'm fixing to put into my impala. What? Okay. So what do you have in the ninety six impala? The, the just a just LT a stock LT one? Okay. No 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 work done it's, on it at all? Yeah, it's been tweaked on the computer a little bit. Okay, whatever, okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm a ninety six guy myself. So I have a I have a ninety six and I have a C ten also. Um and um I'm actually a part of a a national impala club called inc inc yeah, yeah and and um so yeah. yeah man so that's that's you, cool you probably know jerry bradley i know jerry bradley very he's, well he has helped me with, with my impala. yeah i know jerry very well yeah he's a good, good friend of mine man he, he's actually same thing here jerry's done work on my on my car for me suspension work all kinds of stuff for my car so very very familiar with jerry yeah, i just had my steering wheel redone and jerry, I, I like jerry, that no no the impala one. Oh, and on the Apollo, okay. Had you, had, you had it wrapped, or yeah. okay, yeah. I sent it to Dallas. So, tell me about that steering wheel, that that octagonal steering wheel. You don't see that? This, this truck came with all this wood grain. I see that. And I wanted back when I bought it. Right. By I would say a year later. Okay. I had bought this, but back in the late seventies was a custom van craze, the hippies and the right. Crazy. I remember and, that. Uh, I seen a lot of round ones, but I wanted something to complement this. Yeah. And I, I saw this, and it was octagon. And I said, I gotta have it. So I actually bought this at a custom van shop. Wow. In like late '77, maybe early '78. That is cool, like the good times conversion yeah, vans. Oh yeah, that's cool. I didn't even see that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey man, well thanks man. I appreciate you talking about your truck, man. Take care. Uh -huh. My man, Alex here. <laughs> Fellow Chevy boy. <laughs> Hounds to its interior. I like it. I like it. Alex, Carlos, where you up? been, man? I've been looking for you on YouTube, brother. Hey, I'm, I'm huh? there, man. I, I live on YouTube, huh? man. What are you talking about? Subscribe. Yeah, exactly. Hit the like button. Hit the like button, man. <laughs> so, Alex, tell, tell them about your truck, man. Man, dude, we've been working on this truck. We got, we got a new motor put in it. 383 stroker. 383 stroker, okay. Like my buddy Nate says, big block killer. Okay. Huh? What what year is this truck? 1972 C10 short wheelbase. 1972 C10 short wheelbase. Okay. Yes, sir, all day is this long. is this a, an original color setup or? It is. Okay, it so is this truck original came, originally came red and white. Yeah, original. We repainted it, but we kept it. It's the victory white. It's the victory red and white. And uh, we try to keep it as original as we can. Yeah. But we try to do some little upgrades. Yeah. And, now, uh, had a new motor put in it. Had a uh, upholstery done at Speedy Headliner. Did a real nice job. Okay. Try to keep it in stock, but we leathered everything out, man. Came out really, really nice. Absolutely. Really, so, really, so really nice. I, you, you pointed out a couple of like kind of like personal custom touches that yes, I saw late recently. Mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me about the door handles. The door handles are made up by a company out of uh, GSI okay. out of Arizona. Okay. So I keep the, it, they look original. Right. But they're, they're made out of billing. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I really nice. matter of fact, I love really it. Really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Another little deal we did just here recently, we put the little easy latch set up. Yes. And man, yes. I tell you what, yeah. man, this yeah. thing's closed like yeah, butter. that I like mean, butter. It, and I'm really like a new car, man. Oh man, it, 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 like I said, Speedy Headliner. He's here, matter of fact, he's running around here, and uh, he he did all the, the interior. We got the little Serapa put up there, man. I like it. Yeah, uh, we changed out the steering wheel. I found this at Outback. They got this this a copy version of the big one, oh, but they yeah. shrunk it. Down. Okay, they shrunk it down. Yeah, yeah. man. So, That's cool. I didn't know they made yeah, those. Man. That's cool. I like that. It came out real cool, man. We, we took out the little dash pad right here. We uh -huh. put the big one on there. Yeah. Yeah, man. We, Where'd you find that at? All right. Uh, Brothers or LMC? One of the two. Okay. Brothers yeah. or LMC, man. Right. We, we, and I see yeah. it's got speaker. Is that speaker vents or is that for the uh, no, defrost? No, that's just your little vent. We okay. Took out, we took a little plastic things out in, in a speedy headliner. Gotcha. Yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah man, we're going to leave it alone for a little bit. We're going to have a little fun and ride it, man. She's so, gorgeous, man. Thank you so She's much. gorgeous. Uh, uh, Frank got his in the shop right now? I think so. I think so. Um, um, I think he's getting work done. To fit those wheels. Yes. Yeah, because yes. he's yeah he's got yeah, he's got he's a. He's gonna go under the knife for a little bit. Yeah, exactly, exactly, he man. Told me you're gonna take it over there to Alamo, man. Alamo's gonna do a nice job. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, they are. They they do some real good work, man. Yes, they're, yes. they're expensive as you know, as you all get out, uh, but hey, you know, I yeah. guess I guess you gotta pay if you want that kind of work. I guess. You gotta pay if you wanna play. Been messing with it. Man, I haven't done anything in that truck. My focus right now has been on my Monte Carlo. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm redoing my Monte Carlo, man, and uh. I, uh, that's the one you're gonna put the LS in it or not? Yeah, that's okay. what I'm, I'm, okay. I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna do a LSA supercharged LSA in it. 
Yeah, you got the motor already, huh? Yeah, I already got the motor and everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I got the motor and everything. I'm just waiting on my guy to uh, make room for me in his shop. He's got a bunch of cars in front of me. He's real busy right now, so. How about, uh, have, have you seen, a, where's Tim at with his car? Is he all done? Or you know, I, I, I haven't talked to Tim, uh, so I don't know where he is. I, I mean, other than the pictures he's posted, I. It I looks see, like he was getting close, huh? Yeah, it seems like he's pretty close. Like, Cause I think he got the interior done, he got that put in there. All the, I think the body work is done. I think he put the wheels back on it. So maybe just like some minor, minor, minor touches, minor finishes that need to be done. Minor touches. Yeah. Look so. Look, you're a little crowded today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out, get around and get a few more videos with some trucks before everybody start pulling out. This truck here is nice here, man. Alex's baby again. That would be me on the old black box. The black box. So I need to sit her down. This needs to come down about four inches all the way around. Yeah, we'll get her there. Maybe even more than four inches. That truck there is, believe it or not, that's a 90. It's a truck, they built these trucks in Mexico. They were, uh, in Mexico, they kept making the trucks, these trucks until 91, but in the United States, they stopped making them in 87. Uh, so these trucks are really rare to find a, a, a 90s model uh, here in the States. They're really cool. Lots of black trucks out here. Exactly why I want to paint my truck. Playing with that. Right, 
Mason on there. Playing interior. Blocks. This way, extended cap. Crew cap. With the long bed. Excuse me. Had an unidentified flying object. Getting some footage. Clean one there. Nice and neat, not too much. Just perfect. Oh yeah, nice. Ford Lightning. These are nice trucks here. You don't see a whole lot of them on the streets nowadays, but they're really nice. There was one in here. Look at that. He's lifted too. Talk about being an oddball. Hey, but I love it though. I love it. Oh, Dodge. It's clean. Is this truck all original, sir? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. What year is this truck? Well, the only difference, uh, this is the original color. Yes, sir. Uh, we put the two-tone on it. Okay. We just added the two-tone to it. Okay. Yeah. She's gorgeous, man. Thank you. This this interior, have you, have you done work on that or is that? Yeah, we redid the you interior. Redid interior? Okay. Yeah. Wow. What year is this truck? 81. 81. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. So that's a but it's all it's it's all it, I mean it's all original stuff, man. This truck's runs good, everything's great. Wow, she's gorgeous. No rust on it. Truck came from Idaho. Idaho. Yeah, so it's uh West Texas. I mean uh, uh Western United States is always good. Yeah, exactly. No rust. Yeah. A lot drier up that way. Yeah, no doubt. Oh look, it's even still got the little provision for the uh oh, the tire like the tire iron. The jack and the, yeah, the jack and all that. You don't I almost I've never seen that before, I don't think. Not intact, anyways. That is all original stuff. That is crazy. Got the original cruise control. It works also. Wow. Wow. Cool, man. Thanks for showing. It. So we got a nice uh, red patina 
C10. It's like they, I don't know if that's original patina or if that's, if that's a manufactured patina where they actually make, make the patina on the truck and then they clear it. But it looks, it looks like it's original. I, yeah, I think that is original patina. For those of you who don't know what patina is, that's basically just like uh, like the, the original rust and wear and tear on a, on a, a car or a truck. You know, as they, as they age and get older, they start to rust and, and uh, you know, the paint starts to fade and whatnot. And, and some guys, you know, most people, you would think they would, you know, clean up the truck and then paint it and make it look, make, make it look nice and pretty. But you got, you got a group of guys that are into the whole patina thing. And so that just basically means that rather than painting over the rust and the faded paint, they and making it look pretty, they'll just basically take a clear coat and clear over the rust. And they like it like that, they keep it like that. So it's, 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 it's actually like almost like a work of art. It's, it's really neat to see it when people do it. You see it a lot on, especially like older, older, older trucks. I mean, this is probably like a, an 80s model C10 or maybe like a late late 70s. But you'll see, you'll see it sometimes a lot more in the 50s and 60s models as well. You'll see that people do the patina look or even in some cases, maybe even like the, I think the 40s. But uh, here's another one. Here's so here's here's an example of uh, patina that's not has not been clear coated. So this is my boy uh, Tino's uh, not Tino, but Berto's truck. Uh, one of the, the co-founder of uh, Trucks of Coffee. You can see this is this is rust. This is like fade, not necessarily rust, but this is like faded paint, where it's uh, uh, the paint has kind of come off, and you can kind of see a little little bit of rust pitting here, but it's not, it's not a whole lot, but that's, like I said, that's, you got guys that they like that patina look, you know what I mean? And they, they prefer to keep their truck that way. So, um, I, I like it. I think it's, I think it's a, like I said, a work of art. Look at that thing. It's quiet. Clean. Clean. Yeah. These trucks are very similar. Very similar. The one's clear coated. One's, one's not. That's probably the original paint on this truck. I don't think Berto has done anything to it except for the, the striping on the hood. That's the original paint on that truck, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All original paint, patina. Patina, right? So, so the only thing you've done is put the stripe on the hood, right? Yeah, pinstripe. Yeah. And it's not even like waxed or nothing. Just right. washed and just scrubbed down. That's so I was telling, I was telling the the the, the channel. That yeah. that truck is patinaed also, but it's cleared. Yeah, clear coat. he cleared over his yeah. patina. Same, you, same, same identical almost trucks. Right. Uh, they're both eighty. That's an eighty-four. So we got an eighty-four and an eighty-six, both patinaed. One clear coated, one not. These are almost identical trucks, just a couple years apart. Nice wheel set up on both of them. Nice dash, clean. 8486. Got another patina, patina truck. Got his all over. That's the third one I've seen, third red one. That's the patina. It's a GMC. Another two trucks. It's got automatic start. It's starting for me. I like it. I see it. That sounds like an LS swap. Definitely gonna sound like a 350. 20s in the front. 22s in the rear. I like it. Sounds good. That's a fun. I don't really like his truck, especially since it's red and black. Like the two times. Okay. 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 Ok
Ecco qua. It's like a four piston in the rear. It's a six piston Brembo. Damn. It's your truck, man? No. Gorgeous, man. Wow. I'm impressed. Uh, I assume with all with all the big brakes you got up under there, I assume it's, it's got a little bit of power, huh? Not yet. Not yet? What, what are you working on? LS7. Ouch. What's in there now? 305. 305? Yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. That So that's, what is that, like a 14-inch rotor in the front? 15. 15? 13 and six, a half in the six back. Six piston? Eight. That's an eight piston? Holy cow. <laughs> so eight in the front and what's what's that? Four, four in the rear? She'll stop for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Who painted it? Uh somebody in Mexico painted it. I don't know who it was. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, damn, I just, I just realized it's, it's got a, it's, it's a, got it's the not, Mexico plates. Okay. But it's got a it's an American truck. It's an American truck, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's gorgeous, man. I like that two-tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely, man. When's your next G body gonna be? Uh, oh yeah, you're the guy with the El Camino, right? No, I, no? Got, a, I got the SS, SS. Black one, but I, I haven't brought it out because I, it's in Rosenberg, I never drive it. Okay, we actually have been kind of low-key yeah, for a while. We haven't done anything in a while. You know, I'm just trying to be safe, right, you know? Yeah. But um, I, I think it's about time we, we, we crank it back up again. I got two g bikes. I got a 79 Malibu. Oh, really? And SS, yeah. Okay. Swap. It's clean. Six heads. Why? Oh, right, tailgate is interesting. It looks like an older model tailgate. Supercharger. There's a the C10s for days. I mean, every color combination you can think of. It's like it's been painted recently. C10, but it's cool though. 
Relief game. DJ Mr. Rogers. Trade the truth. Check it out. So, I've been coming to these for a while and I don't think I've ever seen this many trucks out here. They gotta have close to probably 300 trucks by now. Can't wait to I put my put my C10 together the way I really want to put it together. driving it without the uh, top on it in this rain. Clean. Boy, it's lifting. That's a different, different, different type of taste. But I like it though. I appreciate it, man. You know, it may, it may not be for everybody the lifted look, but I still, I still appreciate the time and effort and thought that went into putting it together. Anybody want to guess what this guy does for a living? <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd say he's a barber. Yeah. This is just crazy, man. There's so many trucks out here. That's a clean F-150, old school. Look at that. That looks like a Coyote engine. Power by Ford, yeah. I think that's what that is. Yeah, it's clean, man. That's clean. Nice set of race lines on it. G10, man. Man, man he's supercharged. Looks like he got a Pro Charger on there. Or we'll got Vortec, man. Supercharger guy. Yeah. With the uh, new school technology, Coyote Swap. so many trucks out here I I mean I, I don't I, I really don't think I've ever seen this many trucks out here. this event has grown so much I mean this I mean it's always been a big event don't get me wrong it's always been successful but I feel like I feel like it's like it's grown a lot more than it has in the past year or so OBS these guys here man four guys so i saw this guy here at uh autorama i think this past year that's a clean ford man that is a clean ford So nice. That's a dark 
tent on that. Can't even see it side. That's on the Just buddy parked next to him. Had a bad truck either. Just needs a little love and care. But he that's probably the way he prefers it, just like it is. All original, untouched. Now, this whole line is Ford. Look at this. It's a whole line of Ford trucks. There's a Bronco. Look at that one. That thing is nice. That's real nice. Damn. Yeah, that's real nice. It's got the fender flares on it. Yeah, that thing is real nice. Mexico truck, too. It's got the uh, which just imagine if this was red. I mean, I like the blue, don't get me wrong, but just imagine if it was red. I like he's got a nice little graphic on the side, kind of kind of ghosted into the truck. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Yeah, that's a nice touch truck is nice. I like that little kind of visor he has over over the top of the floor. Look at that. There's a lifted extended cab. That's clean. Ford. I tell you, man, these Ford guys are... There's a Ford with the patina clear-coated. I like it. Bronco. There's another lifted one. Ford guys came out, man. You normally don't see uh, see this many Fords. These guys must be in a club or something. Cause I don't think I've ever seen this many Fords out here at this show. It's typically almost all C10s, but Ford guys came out in numbers. I like I like what I see though, man. Bumper filler for the rear. I think it's for the rear. Or that's for the front. I'll, I'll take one. I'll take a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Turn around. Okay, here we go. Three finalists. She Devil. Woo!